The South Korean government has decided to purchase aerial refueling tankers and unmanned aerial vehicles to significantly enhance Seoul's military capabilities. Our Kim Hyun-bin has the details. Several F-15 fighter jets are bound for Alaska, but during the long journey, an air refueling tanker accompanies them, filling up their tanks mid-air. After eight hours and seven refuels, the F-15 lands at its designated base. The biggest perk of having an aerial refueling tanker is that it can significantly increase air and military operation time. With it, there's no need to fill the tank to its maximum capacity. Instead, the fighter jets can carry more heavy weaponry, increasing its striking power. The South Korean military has been trying to introduce these aerial refueling tankers for nearly 20 years, and now this goal will soon be realized. The Defense Acquisition Program Administration plans to select a contractor by October 2014, and will make his purchase of the four tankers in 2017. The basic strategy to purchase the aerial refueling tankers has been drawn up. We will set up a budget and announce a business proposal at a later date. The administration also announced its preferred bidder for developing medium-altitude unmanned aerial vehicles, also known as drones, so that it can keep a close watch on North Korea's key nuclear facilities as well as military targets. The administration will start negotiations and plans to introduce the drones sometime after 2017. Kim Hyun-bin, Arirang News.